Here we have a 2007 Peugeot 407 SE Automatic in black, it is a coupe. Starts with the offside front tyre. Starting with the tread, we are looking at a good 5 to 6 millimetres there, so plenty of tread on the offside front alloy uh, tyre. Sorry, Looking at the offside front alloy, as you can see a lot of heavy curving around the outside edge of the alloy. Some little bits of paint bubbling here and there as well, but definitely going to require a refurb. Looking at the offside of the vehicle, you've got a small dent on the driver's door. One or two very light dinks as well. Looking around the offside um, front quarter panel, again some light scratches. Being black, it's going to show everything under the sun. Um, one or two scratches to the mirror, could do with a polish. Again, some light scratches to the driver's door. Again, should polish out. The majority of them are very light, so shouldn't really have any issue. And um, looking down the door there, as you can see, a bit of a lined. It's more of a dink, to be honest, than a dent. I, I did say it was a dent, but it's not that heavy, to be honest. And again, some light scratches on the door handle, as you can see, and require polish. A couple of chips in your door edge could do with some touchings as well. As you can see, you've got a dent just above the driver's door there. And again, a lot of paint peel on the roof there, as you can see. It's literally just peeling off. So, do beware of that. Looking at the rest of the roof, I can't spot anything else, so the patch there is going to need some paint. Again, some light scratches move towards the rear arch. Some light scratches there. Rear tyre, again, a good 5 to 6 mil, so plenty of tread on the front and rear. And again, we have got some curbing, unfortunately, um, to the outside edge of the alloy. So, once again, going to require a refurb to this alloy here. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. I do apologise about this sun. Looking at the back here, as you can see, um, the rear light is loose. Um, that's not properly fitted in there, so you can actually move the rear light about a bit. Again, nothing major, but just be aware of that. Some light scratches all on the offside at rear quarter of the vehicle. So again, again, they're going to require good polish. Rear parking sensors. Again, some chips in the paintwork on the back. Nothing too major, but it to require some touchings, some scratches, and some marks along the bottom of the boot edge there as well. Again, nothing too serious on the back. Taking a look inside the boot. Again, nice clean condition. And taking a look under the tray here. As you can see, no sign of any spare wheel. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. And again, we're looking at a good 5 to 6 millimetres of tread there, so it's spot on. Looking at the near side at rig um, alloy, as we can see, a lot of curbing. Very heavy, the majority of it, so definitely to require a refurb there. And looking at the near side of the vehicle. No signs of any dents, one or two very light dinks. Some scratches all along the paintwork here again. Majority of them are light, um, some are heavier than others. But once again, they're going to require a mop or a polish. A couple of touches to the door edge. Got a scratch there on the driver's door itself. And again, a few scratches going down the front passenger door there. It's had a bit of a scuff on the wing mirror. You can see it's had some paint. And again, some scratches around the front quarter panel. Front tire on the near side, again, good 5 to 6 millimetres. And again, some curbing to the near side front alloy. So going to require a refurb there. Looking around the front of the vehicle. Front parking sensors, again no signs of any damage at all to the front. It's had a bit of a scuff here, as we can see. Offside front's fine, headlights are okay, and again just some stone chips to the bonnet that are going to require some touchings. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, got the uh, full cream leather interior. And there is some wear marks here to the bolster on the driver's seat. No signs of any rips or damage, and again, just some slight wearing here and there. You've got um, heated seats, electric seats, they're all working perfectly fine. And taking a look in the back, as we can see, a lovely clean condition. No signs of any damage there. Looks very well in the back. Taking a look at the front passenger seat again, just one or two slight age related marks. Dashboard is fine, you've got the big um, screen there as well for the media and again some slight um, wear marks to the wheel. Stepping inside the car itself. Now we do have 
two sets of keys with the vehicle uh, as we can see here and just getting the vehicle started check ok it says there and it says there's six and a half thousand miles or minus six and a half for the service so it probably does require a service as we speak as you can see got a bulb warning light on there as well which is just shown on the display We're looking at 56,411 miles on the clock as well so not too bad for the vehicle's age but do be aware of that bulb warning light as you can see that side light bulbs fault no problems at all with the radio works perfectly fine as you can see it does say navigation um, but it just brings up this display here um, I can't quite seem uh, to figure out if it's going to show a map or I'll just click nav and it just brings me to this screen here uh, apart from that all the climate control works exactly um, how it should there's no issues at all there all the problem, all the blows work etc and uh, it's all functioning fine so it is an automatic transmission taking a quick look at the documents looking at the V5 for the vehicle the car's had six owners believe it or not so six owners on the vehicle it does have an MOT which expires here March 21st 2015 so there is a few months left on that and we are looking at a full non-franchise service history first one there at 8, 4, 9, 1. we've got one there at 13 19, 28, 35 being your last service so definitely does require a service as we speak as the last one was done at 35 and we're currently on 56 there we go guys, that is the 2007 Peugeot 407 SE Coupe in black. Not too bad condition for its age, um, but as you can see throughout the video, there is um, some work needed doing to the vehicle. Not bad mileage, we've got um, pretty much full service history as well, and some nice gadgets and gizmos on the car as well.